boys. It's Harm Nine. Today we're going to be customizing the Pegasi Monroe in GTA Online. This thing released with the game, and it is based off a Lamborghini Miura or Miura, um, depending on how you want to say it. It is a classic sports car, and uh, it's it's pretty cool. It's a good looking car, and we're going to customize it. I don't think I've ever customized this car before, and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. So. Let's get right into it here. Starting off with the armor, we're gonna go all the way up on that, of course. Brakes as well, and engine as well. We're gonna leave the horn alone. Headlights, we're gonna go xenon, of course. For the plate, we're gonna go yellow on black. For the respray, we are going to go with um, a color that I'm not sure yet. Um, I've seen this car in lime green before. Unfortunately, I don't have it unlocked. Um, I've also seen it in yellow, and I feel like yellow is a good look for the car. So I think we're gonna go for, mm, let's see. You know what, honestly, do yellow kind of looks a little bit more fitting for it. So I think we're gonna go for do yellow. Um, I don't really love do yellow as a color. I actually hate it as a matter of fact, but should work for this. Sport suspension, let's drop that thing all the way down. Race transmission and a turbo as well. For the wheels, um, we, Probably should not go with high ends or street. Uh, so we're looking at muscle, low rider, tuner. Um, let's check out the tuner rims. Ooh, you know what? Those actually look pretty good. Um, those look kind of good, actually. Unless there's something else. Let's, let's actually go into the street rims and see if there's any new rims that we could put on this thing that would look good. Um, those actually look pretty solid. I think we're going to go for the Aerostar, actually. Those look really good. Um, I could black out the back of the wheels. I think I will do that, or at least... Mm, yeah, no, I'll, I'll go black on that. Uh, for the tires, we could do a tire design. I'm not going to, though. Enhancements, we're going to do bulletproof tires. Clear out the smoke there, and then windows, we're going to tint them all the way out. So, as you guys can see, this thing is looking pretty good, honestly. Um, I'm super happy that I finally customized this car after eight years, almost, of Grand Theft Auto. Um, it's been on my list. I just have never got around to it, I guess. So, we're going to do a little review now, starting off with a sound test. This thing sounds really good, and it's actually pretty detailed in the back on the headlights there. Those, uh, those look really good. They caught my eye. Um, so I'm pretty impressed with that. Sounds really good. Uh, let's see how the launch is. It is a sports classic car, so I was not expecting a great launch. Uh, not a lot of traction off the line there. This thing is rear wheel drive only though, so not a huge surprise. Um, acceleration wise, this car feels good. Um, I'm sure it is not the fastest in the category anymore as it did come out with the game. Um, so nothing nothing shocking there really um it's a good car though from what i can tell um acceleration feels good let's see about the handling uh the handling is where i feel like this car would suffer but as a matter of fact it actually feels really good um it sort of likes to drift out on the corners so far we're gonna see if that continues uh, up this hill here um okay it has a lot of understeer there that was crazy um Okay, has a lot of understeer, can also have a lot of oversteer if you somehow go around a corner like I did that one time. I'm not really sure how that happened, but definitely felt the understeer though. So be be wary of the understeer on this car if you're planning on buying it. It's, it's there. Trust me, it's there. Um, but the handling honestly does not feel that bad. See, now I just got oversteer. This car is confusing, man. I don't understand. Uh, I've never ended up in the bushes on that corner before doing a review, but uh, hey, I, I guess uh, I guess there's a first for everything. Around these corners, the car feels pretty pretty good. Um, didn't want to spin out too badly there. Um, it definitely has like understeer, but it also works as like grip. Um, but yeah, no, it, it definitely has got some understeer issues, as you guys saw. I hit the barrier there. Handling. Not this car's strong suit. I wasn't really expecting it to be, um, so not really surprised, honestly. You can kind of drift the thing, which is nice. Um, it's always fun when you can do that. Um, but 
Acceleration wise seems pretty good. Top speed wise, I can only assume it's pretty good. Definitely because it's so old. Uh, it's probably not even in the top 10 top speeds for uh, sports classic cars in the game. But then again, I could be wrong. The Z type is still the fastest. So I could be very wrong. So who knows? Um, but yeah, guys, I think that's pretty much it for the uh, customization review today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I certainly have enjoyed driving this car. I'm not going to show that side of it because uh, it's got a big scrape there. But um, fun car, honestly, for uh, 490000 I think it cost me uh, on Legendary Motorsport. Not bad. Um, definitely, definitely a pretty good car. So, um, yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Dislike if you didn't. Subscribe if you guys are new. And I will see you guys in the next video. And until then, take care. Peace.